You can see that handicap uh, ma match and mentality take over sure. as Rebels pulling Statlander's hair. Well, as both of you guys know, right, the obvious thing here for, for Britt Baker, hence the stipulation, this is an opportunity for both these ladies, her, her buddies, to weaken up Statlander going into Sunday. And Chris, you mentioned Jamie Hayter's total reinvention of herself. Now, she is somebody that could perhaps even match Statlander power for power. I agree, I was a fan of her from the start to see her reappear, of course, with the good doctor. This is gonna be a tough team to, to get the upper hand on. Oh, wow, oh. Rebel 2 just powering Statlander Impressive over. Impressive Rebel. Rebel. Chuck and Statlander grabs. The inside hook, but just a two count from referee Aubrey Thanks, Edwards. Calibre, I think you make a really good point regarding the power comparison oh. of Hader and Statlander. You know, arguably the two, the two I mean, you have to throw Jade Coggle in there. Uh, two of the most powerful women on the other women's roster. Absolutely. But don't forget, too, Statlander just returned a few months ago from a, a, an injury for, to her knee that left her out for almost a year. Good yeah. point, Chris. But since returning from that injury, Chris Statlander Whoa. Is undefeated. And she has climbed to the top of the ranks of the AEW Women's Division. And now Statlander wow. Wow, just hoisted up hate, hate her with ease. Well, we told you she was strong. <laughs> there that was, was great. Yeah. She used the handicapped match rules to her uh, advantage. And a running shot in the corner to the jaw of Rebel. Whoa. One for Jamie Hayter. Wow, that was a shot. Those forearms oh, were man. potatoes. Dude, you're not kidding. That was Idaho City. Straight from Idaho, exactly. I'm not kidding, man. And Hayter and Rebel. Oh, into the wow. match. Statlander using her opponents against her. Wow. Again, taking advantage of this two-on-one handicap. She could get her here. Numbers two, no. And Rip Baker did everything she could to stack the odds against Statlander in this two-on-one situation, but it's still not enough to stop Statlander's momentum. Jamie Hayter charging in, low bridge oh, by Statlander. Wow. Terrible landing for Hayter on the outside. Ooh. And now the splash in the corner by Rebel. Britt Baker liking what she's seeing here. Oh. Nobody there. No well, not, nice. not liking that. Picking her straight up into that corner. And that's the core strength of Statlander bringing Rebel up onto the shoulders. And Jamie hit. Look at this. Oh, my what? God. Talk about strength. What this the hell? Oh, my goodness. Incredible. I have never seen that. Me neither. How impressive. Look at the legs on Chris Statlander. You can tell that she's been doing the leg work, the quad work to be able to pull something like that off. And you have to imagine there's a little trickle of sweat running down the back of Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, after watching that. I'd be nervous if I was the good doctor myself right now. Crowd very excited. Oh, roll up here. Two count, Rebel able to kick oh, out. Kick to the face. And talk about kicks. That might be it. Now, they're just leaving her alone. They're just leaving Rebel out there. What, is, oh, Statlander. Look at this. Where did she learn these things? What kind of hold is that? Almost like a spider crab. And Rebel submits. No choice but to quit. Here but look at Hater and DMD set the whole thing. Oh, you're right, Chris. Almost like a, just like they sacrificed Rebel like a sacrificial lamb. Well, Jamie Hater and Rebel were sent to take out Chris Statlander ahead of that AEW Women's World Championship match this Sunday. But there's the good doctor. She hasn't had enough yet. Uh oh, she's oh, sandwich, three on sandwich, one. sandwich now. Chris Statlander. Between, Look at this. Oh, and oh, Red, Red Velvet. Velvet comes in to even the odds. And they just leave. And Britt Baker, Rebel, and Jamie Hader running for the high ground. 